This presentation covers the OrgChart Platinum PDF editor. OrgChart Platinum includes a full content editor for the interactive PDF, which is created using the OrgChart application. What this means is that users can make changes to published PDFs to include any text, images, or descriptions desired for a more professional look. In addition, you can use the interactive PDF as a collaborative tool in your organization planning process. OrgChart Platinum's PDF editor includes many features. Here are just a few. The ability to add comments and notations. The ability to add logos, images, or watermarks. The ability to change page order and page numbering. You can insert pages from other applications, such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or any rich text format output. Documents can be converted to Microsoft Office format, such as Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Also included is a spell checker. You can create views of multiple pages at the same time for side-by-side -side comparison or view pages individually. You can also password protect or add digital signatures for any approval process for your documents. You can save to SharePoint and even maintain a document history. Finally, for the visually impaired, there is a read out loud function. These are just some of the features in the PDF editor. If you'll notice in the new PDF editor, there's a series of tools that are available at the top of the interface. But what we're looking at right now is a org chart that was created. And if I can page through this for a moment, we can see that there's a series of pages that have organization chart graphics on them. What you'll also see is the ability to take a look at different views. Different views can be seen under the view menu here under page layout and we can see two or four pages at a time. I can scroll out here for a moment. So this gives you a very easy way of seeing your entire document. Now as we look in here, one of the things we can certainly do is add a logo on our cover page. Let's see how that is done. Under document, we'll add an image. Select the image. And here we've placed it on our cover page. Let's move on to add some comments within our org chart. As we can see the metrics at the top right corner, we see the individual contributors are over budget. So let's go ahead and add a call out for that. So you can ask a simple question. It looks like we're under budget and the question might be why. And here we could add another note about an individual who's going to be leaving next quarter. We're asking the question, who's the replacement going to be? In fact, we can even highlight the matter by drawing a line through that person's name. So there's a strikeout feature that's available as well. And so right here, we could have a text box that says bringing on a replacement as soon as possible. The cost is $25,000. Will you approve? So we could have notes right in this document that could be given to management for them to make a decision. Next, we can provide a place for an approval, which we have down in the lower right hand corner. So now let's put a digital signature in that place, assuming we've passed this to the person who is going to approve this document. And so here's where we simply go to document, to the digital signatures, and we're going to place a signature. We signed copy of the document now, and we have it password secured so that nobody else can change it. So as you can see, the org chart now, using this PDF editor, becomes an interactive document that can be used in a collaborative mode. So changes can be proposed. This can be passed along to different levels of approval. Signatures can be acquired. And then we can finally store this in SharePoint or a network drive. Uh, and it can be very easily memorialized. There are other features that could be described within the document, but these are the highlights. For more information, visit us at orgchartpro.com or contact us at sales at officeworksoftware.com.